and welcome to another edition of Cannapedia where we are bringing to you honest and unbiased cannabis strain reviews. So today we are going to be reviewing Candyland by the local joint. Now, Candyland is no stranger to me or the channel here, but if it is a new strain for you, let's go ahead and talk about it. Candyland is a sativa strain that is a cross between one of my favorites of all time, Granddaddy Purple and Bay Platinum Cookies. So I am expecting all of that pungentness from the um, uh, from the Granddaddy Purple mixed with the sweetness of the cookies. And I will tell you what, Candyland is a strain that I have been puffing for years and years and years. So I'm curious to how this stuff stacks up. So before we get into this review, I'm going to bring this stuff up on the screen for you guys to check out. Then we're going to take a look at it together. Okay, so what did you think of this Candyland by the local joint. Let me know in the comments below. I am so excited to break this bag open and get right into this review. So let's go ahead and see what this stuff is all about. Now I gotta tell you, the smell in this bag is very subdued. Like for a half ounce, I picked up a half ounce. This should be screaming, and honest to God, this isn't screaming. This is like really, really subtle. Um, the buds are purple as they should be. Um, you know, that that is for sure. They're very, very tightly packed, and they've got these nice bright orange hairs, but one thing I gotta say about the bud, because it looks really good, but boy, oh boy, is it missing trichomes. Like, I don't really see many trichomes on the outside of this bud. There's some, you know, on the insides of the bud themselves. And I actually, the nug that I chose to break up today, um, you know, I was looking on the inside of that one. And that one is definitely frosty on the inside. But boy, is this stuff on the outside of the bud. It is lacking terms. Everything else is there. I mean, it's got the orange, uh, beautiful orange hairs all throughout this bud. Um, but yeah, I mean, the trichomes are kind of hidden on the inside. That's kind of a little bit of a bummer. I'm, I've got to be honest, that's a, a bit of a letdown, and especially for getting nugs like this. Like these are friggin' golf ball size nugs that are just beautiful. The, the bud structure and the shape of them. But man, is this stuff lacking trichomes. Um, and it's lacking terpenes in the smell. There's, there's no question about it, honestly. Um, I'm pretty bummed out by that, in all honesty, you guys. Um, now, what I want to do is before I actually get into um, puffing on this stuff, I threw local joint on the penny pinchers test. So let's see if this half ounce weighs 14 grams and throw them up on the scale right now. Okay, so the time has come for the penny pinchers test. Let's go ahead and see if this candy land by the local joint weighs 14 grams like it says right there on the package. So let's go ahead, we'll get the scale turned on. We'll put a dollar bill on there just to make sure that that weighs exactly one gram and that we're all calibrated perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken off. We'll put our cup on there. I will tear the cup off so we are not getting any of that weight affected. Now let's go ahead and get the bag opened up and dump the contents right on in here. Oh yeah, you guys see that is 14.1, a tiny bit of shake to spare in the bag, but that is a pass from the local joint with 14.1. Okay, that is a pass, 14.1 grams. That is how it is done, local joint. Big ups on that, you guys. Now, this stuff is testing out at 22.14% THC. Um, I'm seeing a harvest date of 8%. Now, I purchased this on 11-27, so we were almost like three months away from the purchase date or harvest date on this stuff. This stuff is getting to be a little bit old, to be honest. Um, I don't really, I'm not super impressed about that. Um, and the other thing I got to talk to you guys about is why 
local joint are you not sealing your bags that is a health and safety issue you better start sealing your bags i don't want your bud tenders to be able to just open my bag and friggin bust a load in my bag you know uh and then you guys sell it to me that i don't like and the other thing that i don't like and let me show you is you guys if you have to put integra packages in your bud there's a pack a problem to try to keep your bud fresh, you're throwing Integra packets in here. This is stealing my Terps. This is not keeping my bud. It might be keeping it fresh, but I'll tell you what, it's stealing my Terps. I would rather have the bud less fresh and more Terpy. So this, I don't like at all. I mean, honest to God, just truthfully, I'm gonna call the local joint. I'm gonna call the local joint and find out, A, why did they sell me bud that was three months old? B, why are my bags not sealed? Like, this isn't a good look for them, I gotta be honest. And honestly, I, I just don't like that at all. That's just not good business practice. Um, so, yeah, just we're not really off to a great start with this candy land, I gotta be honest, you guys. Um, but I'm still excited to try it today. Let me see what it smells like. It's been sitting on the vape. Very little to no smell. Even uh, as that has been sitting on the vape for like five plus minutes. That is really, really a shame. But today I'm going to be hopefully enjoying this candy land out of my Air Riser Extreme Q desktop vape. I've got this bad boy set to 375 degrees. Um, now, I've got the end with the screen on it. That one is going to go into the bowl itself. The other end is going to go into my Scientific Inhalations triple filtered bubbler. Now, I've got the distilled water in the second chamber and an organic cotton filter in the third just to filter out any potential impurities that might not have been purged out um, in the final stages of growing. But yeah, I'm excited to try out this uh, Candyland. First time trying uh, Candyland from a caregiver here on the channel did not go so well. So let's see if this does any better here for us. Okay, so basically little to no visible vapor there. I'll probably take three rips on the screen with you since the first one didn't really produce anything. Tiny bit of sweet flavor on my tongue right now. Okay, a bit more flavorful. Fairly smooth, not the smoothest I've ever had. Sweet, I actually have almost a hint of some citrusy flavors there in this as well, which is kind of odd for Candyland. Um, it's not real, real citrusy, so don't get, you know, think that it's like citrus flavor. It's just some subtle sweetness. Um, not really coating my mouth, just kind of there. So let's dive in for the third rip here and see if that flavor profile develops. Okay, so a lot of that same flavor. It's sweet with a hint of citrus. Now, <coughs> I gotta be honest, this is not like the Candyland I'm used to smoking. Um, it's certainly very thin as far as the vapor goes. Um, and yeah, the flavor is there, but it's not really like something that I'm gonna like like rave about by any means because it's a little bit subtle and it's not really the flavors that I'm expecting to really have out of a granddaddy purple. I expect that perp flavor to be there. Um, and you know, the Bay Platinum cookies, I'm expecting the cookie, um, you know, flavor to be in there as well. So yeah, kind of missing on both of those, but not that it's not smooth and not that it's not, uh, you know, there's some positives there. It's just not what I'm expecting from Candyland that I am so familiar with. So um, while I'm finishing out this bowl to see how this finishes out, I want to bring this stuff up on the screen for you guys to check out under the magnification of a 25 times macro lens. You can get a little bit of a better up close and personal view of this Candyland. So here it comes now. Okay, so you are looking at the Candyland by the local joint. And wowie wow, check out the orange hairs on this bad boy. Now tell me those aren't so beautifully offset by this bud. The bud itself is kind of on the darker side. You guys see it's almost like 
to the um, purple or violet hues just based on what we're seeing here. I mean, it's funny because to the naked eye, you'd think it looks kind of lime green, but definitely a different story here under this macro lens. Um, I love bud where these orange hairs are like jumping off of the bud. They are literally covering this bud. There are definitely a decent amount of trichomes on this bud. There's no question about it. And I will tell you what, these buds are like little freaking marbles. They are so uh, nicely dense and packed. Now, the one thing that I got to say about this bud is, you know, it was just trimmed so beautifully and manicured so perfectly. I don't see any excess leaf material on this bud, and this is a great representation of some awesome looking bud. Okay, so what did you think of the candy land under that macro lens? This is pretty legit looking stuff under the macro lens. You know, I, I gotta be honest though. Um, you know, I personally wish that this bud itself um, looked better to the naked eye. I really do. I actually think the um, one of the areas for improvement, you know, it's funny because under the macro lens, I really thought it looked you know, really solid and just to the naked eye, it just, it's got a lot of room for improvement. This is one of those areas in the looks. Now, I just finished having some of this. I really want to talk about this strain and kind of how I am feeling and I want to go from there um, and just kind of give you guys the the rundown on this stuff um, now how I rate all of my strains here is out of 10 zero being the worst 10 being the absolute best I break that down to four different categories the look smell taste and potency it's that simple so I'll sign up to 2.5 points each in each of those respective categories. We'll tally up the total at the end and then give you guys my final rundown and breakdown of how this stuff stacks up. Anything seven or above is going to get our dank thumbs up approval. Anything seven or below will not. And then at the very end, I will give you my recommendation. Would I go out and pick up this strain again? So let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. I want to bring it up on the screen one last time because I want to start by talking about the looks or the bag appeal of this Candyland by the local joint. So here it comes one last time. Okay, so you've seen it multiple times, you guys. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So here's the deal. I mean, you know, I told you guys before, I am so familiar with Candyland. This is a strain that I have had, um, you know, for years and years. I've had, um, my caregivers that would actually grow this strain and I am very familiar with this particular strain and I, you know I gotta be honest that like from the looks perspective let's just talk about just the looks um it just doesn't have it I mean it's lacking completely in the trichomes on the outside like I am having to search for the trichomes on this bud I mean you know you, you really you gotta break open a nug and like the nugs and bud structure look Great talk about great size. They're all like these golf ball size nugs. I absolutely love that But like I shouldn't have to search this hard for trichomes on Candyland Candyland is a frosty strain and it's like while these are great looking buds and they're trimmed and manicured very well um, You know, it's it needs work. This is gonna be a 1.5 out of 2.5 for me in the looks department now Let's get to the smell to be honest, the smell is really where this stuff is lacking the most. I mean, I think this Integra packet that they put in here, the humidity packet, if you guys use these humidity packets, mark my words, they are stealing your terps. I mean, this bud is almost four months old, and so that definitely is probably why they have to put this in here to keep this bud, you know, fresh. But first of all, they shouldn't be sitting on bud for that long that they need to use an Integra pack. That is a, a go-to sign that, like, there's a Problem. If you need an Integra pack, your bud is not good and fresh. Um, and the turps are just not there. I mean, the smell that I'm getting is like a perp smell when you press on the buds, but it's very, very subtle. Even when you break it up, it's there and it's a sweetness. It's that perp, like it's pungent, you know. But it's nice and sweet, um, but I'll tell you, it's just not there. I mean, and what's there is is okay, but it really needs work. It's going to be a 1.0 out of 2.5 in the 
smell. Now, let's go ahead and get to the taste department. In the taste department, um, you know, for me, it, it wasn't bad. It's just that the Terps were lacking. Like the Terps, I seriously think that Integra packet messed with the Terps because like what was there was okay. It was all right. It was like a citrusy, a little bit of hint of, cit uh, excuse me, a sweet with a hint of citrus, but it just wasn't really aromatic. I mean, it's like for something to be good or a 2.0, it's got to be like really, really good um, and coat my mouth. This stuff was just in the background. It was nice and smooth, but like it kind of just died, um, you know, as far as the flavor that was there pretty quickly. But it, it's weird. The dead flavor, like even though, so it just, it wasn't very flavorful. I, I shouldn't say it didn't, it died quickly because it did die quickly, but like that flavor lasted till the end, which like is good. I mean, what was there was okay, but like again, room for improvement here. It's only going to be a 1.5 in the taste for me. Um, now let's get to the potency. You know, this came on pretty quick and pretty fast. Um, and it's acting like a sativa. There's no question about it. I'm very energized um, and I'm ready to go. You know, there is a little bit of haziness. I did have that pressure on my head or do have that pressure on my head, I should say. Um, a little bit of heaviness behind the eyes. But you know, it kind of like got into like an almost a little bit of a headache feeling um, there soon after. And it's funny, at first I was like, yeah, it's like it's between a 1.5 and a 2.0. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I was gonna give him a 2.0. Truthfully, you guys, it's a 1.5 for me. This is just not hitting lift off and it didn't get me where I wanted to be. Um, and I feel okay. I feel decently medicated, but I don't feel like medicated to the point of like 22%, 22% THC should get me there for sure. Um, so I don't know, for me, it's only gonna be a 1.5 in the potency. And this was just one of these strains that just really fell short. Um, that So if you've been following, it's a 1.5 in the looks, 1.0 in the smell, 1.5 in the taste, and a 1.5 in the potency. And you know, I got to be honest, um, you know, a 5.5, you know, that's not getting our recommendation here. I do see that there is some potential. There is some room for improvement, obviously. I mean, you guys, you got to start sealing your bags there for one. That's number one. Take the Integra packs out for uh, two, three. Stop holding on to weed so long that you had a clearance this weed out two months ago. You cleared it out and waited until Black Friday to clear this butt out. That was kind of shysty, um, you know, for me. Um, and I wish I knew. I tried calling the local joint, you guys, and guess what? It goes to an answering machine. Now I'm going to call back and I'm going to leave a message for sure. Um, otherwise, I am just going to go in there, no joke, with this sack and say, like, I don't want this. You've got to exchange this. And the other thing that bummed me out is, like, when I asked the guy for no lemon terpenes, he sold me a half ounce of bud that it was all lemon terpenes. Like, dude, come on not cool, man. Like, Jesus Christ, know your product, know what your consumers are asking for, you know? So I, I blame the local joint. I don't blame the bud tender. I mean, that's the local joint for not failing to educate their uh, bud tender there. And, you know, he was a really nice guy and nice enough. And I thought, you know, he knew a little more about the strains than I feel like he did. Um, especially letting me leave with a half ounce of lemon terpy bud when I said I didn't want any lemon terps and passed up other ones that I knew had lemon terps before picking the Grand Puba, which was definitely better than this stuff um, and had me feeling a lot better than this stuff. But yeah, it's gonna be a five and a half out of 10. Boo thumbs down on the local joints candy land. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is a 5.5 beating them up? I was at a six before and I came back and re-recorded re this because I was like, no, I can't give them the benefit of the doubt. There's no way. Um, it's not a 2.0 in the potency. So um, let me know in the comments below. But then also let me know what you guys want to see me review. And until the next one, you guys, take care of yourselves and one another. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.